I'm doing a Minecraft mob battle with my oh, friend. But any mob we paint turns to life. For example, if I paint a giant dinosaur, it'll spawn that exact thing in. Anyways, Cardi, are you ready to start the mob battle? Yes, I am, Smokey, and I am totally gonna draw way better mobs than you. We'll see about that, Cardi. Anyways, let the mob battle begin. And now that the battle has officially begun, we can actually cheat using our one-way glass wall that we set up here. And now we can actually see what Cardi is gonna start painting on his canvas. And and it looks like Cardi is actually getting started drawing his mobs. And he built some, like, pants or something. I am a little bit confused what he's painting. But luckily, we have this one-way glass wall set up. So we can just sit here and, you know, watch it. And see what he's gonna draw. And it looks like Cardi is starting to draw the arms. I'm a little bit confused what this is turning into. But that's not a normal head. That looks kind of like some kind of stone monster. Wait, I might have an idea of what this is. Is that supposed to be redstone? And it has red stone eyes. Wait, that could be what it is. But remember, we have to see what this turns into once Cardi pulls that lever. So let's just see what the whole drawing looks like. And I think Cardi is done with it. And that looks pretty similar to a redstone monstrosity. So I wonder if it'll actually turn into that. And Cardi is pulling the lever! And oh my gosh, look how many spawned in! And it definitely was a redstone monstrosity because that is exactly what I am looking at. But Cardi didn't only spawn in one one of them. He spawned in three. Okay, well, we need to think of a mob that can handle all three of these mobs. And I actually might have an idea. And we need to think of something that can also get through this giant stone body that it has. And I have just the idea. There is one material in Minecraft other than a pickaxe and TNT that it can actually get through stone, which is this nuclear waste. And it should just mine through it like that. And oh my gosh, it is gone now. So as you see, the acid can can actually get through stones. So what if we spawn in a mob that can actually use an acid attack to kill these guys? And I have an idea. So let's start painting it. So what we want to do is I feel like we want to make our mob green because that is kind of what an acid mob it looks like. And I feel like that is what acid looks like in general. So let's start painting a green mob with acid because we want to make sure it has that acid power. So let's fill it all in like that. And now we can start doing the other thing. Because there are three monsters, I feel like like we should give our mob three heads like this. So we'll put one head, two heads, and a three head. Then we'll get a darker color and actually make it look like this thing has three heads because we need to make sure it does look like that because the drawing needs to be able to tell that is what I'm drawing. So there we go. We got all that in. Now let's fill it all in like that. And now let's start adding some eyes on all three heads like this, this, and this. There we go. And now let's add on like a tongue because I feel like this would look kind of cool if it was like a snake. So there we go. And I think our mob is done now. So we got a three-headed acid snake. And I kind of want to see what this turns into. So let's flick the lever. And what on earth did this turn into? That is a giant three-headed snake. And that's probably a lot bigger than I intended this to be. But I kind of want to see if this has any acid attacks. So let's place down a few villagers here and see if this thing will spit some acid on it. And come on, snake. I hear some stuff getting attacked. And wait, that thing was poisoned for a second. And look, it's shooting out acid from it. Okay, that is kind of cool. And I think that will work. And the villagers are kind of running away from it. But that should definitely work. And that should definitely be enough to kill those guys. And it's going to work super well because acid will mine through all of their stone. But anyways, Cardi, are you ready for the first round of our mob battle? Yes, I am, Smokey. And you will not believe the mob I have. I won't believe the mob you have? I mean, Cardi, I can literally see it at the top of the screen. Green, you have a redstone monstrosity. Oh my gosh, Mark, you can see the boss bars. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, you should probably hide it next time. But, Cardi, I'm going to tell you right now that my mob is probably going to just go and defeat all of your mobs very swift and easily. Wait, why do you think that, Smokey? I guess we're just going to have to drop the walls and see if that will actually happen. All right, then. Well, Cardi, let's drop them now. And let's go. And, Cardi, be prepared to lose 
news because look at my snake. It actually has more heads than I started off with. And whoa. Wait, what? How does your snake have this many heads? Cardi, I think it's because it can regrow heads. I mean, the drawing that I drew literally made it have three heads, but this has like 20 or something. I know that is insane. And come on, redstone monstrosities. You can kill this. They definitely aren't going to be able to kill it because my snake has insane acid attacks and should start doing. And yes, it's turning the arena to acid. And whoa, it's literally just defeating all your mobs. It's putting a bunch of acid under my mobs and constantly doing damage to them. Yeah, I know. And that is insane because, Cordy, you know why that's really bad for you, right? Yeah, Smirky, because acid destroys the stone on my redstone monstrosities. Yep, that is exactly why, Cordy. And that means that it's going to seep through all of the redstone and stone blocks that your mobs have. It just go down to the core and eventually kill them. I can't believe you chose an exact counter the first round. That is so bad for me. Yeah, Cordy, that is kind of horrible for you, if I'm going to be honest. And, Cordy, I I think it's gonna be any time that your mom start dying because they're just stuck in the acid. No, come on, redstone monstrosities, get out! They are not gonna get out anytime soon, Cardi. Come on, die! And what just happened, Cardi? I see a few redstone skulls on the ground. No, these are from my redstone monstrosities that just died. There is no way that actually worked. And look, the acid is just going even further down in the ground now. Now. Are you kidding me? This is so bad. I can't believe I lost the first round, but I will not lose any more rounds. Oh, uh, why not, Cardi? I'm gonna spot in some really, really big mobs next time. Do you actually think that's why I won, Cardi? Because my snake is pretty huge. Yeah, that's definitely why you won. Bigger mobs equal OP. Well, Cardi, let's see who can spawn in the biggest mob, because I have an idea how I can make mine way better and bigger than yours. All right, Smokey, let's do it. We are now on on to the second round of the mob battle and do not leave because we are about to do some insane breaks and insane mob spawns. So let's get started and see what Cardi is going to draw for this round. And it looks like Cardi is getting started and he's drawing some kind of blue happy face. Is this going to be like some water mob? Let's just see what the rest turns out like. And it looks like Cardi gave it a red body? What? I'm so confused what this is. I guess we're just going to have to see when he flicks that lever and is done with the drawing and i think he is done and he's going up to lever and flicking it and what on earth did that spawn in is this some kind of elemental mob i mean that's not as big as i thought it would be but i know i can spawn in a way bigger mob because i have a trick that i can use while i'm drawing and let me show you how i can do that so we're gonna get our paintbrush and start drawing and what we're gonna do first is over here we are gonna make a tiny stick figure and i'm gonna show you why this is important. So we're gonna put this guy right here and we are gonna put an arrow pointing at it like that. And now above it, we are gonna write me. Okay. So the reason why we're doing this is because I think this should show the painting like whatever that this mob is actually gonna be a lot bigger than the player if that makes any sense. But you know what? Let's just see if that actually works. So I guess now let's get started on drawing it. And I want to make like a giant kind of giant mob. So let's start drawing its feet like this. And this this. All right. There we go. So let's make it pretty tall like that. And now let's give it like a torso like this and color it all in. And now some pretty huge arms like that. There we go. This guy's gonna be pretty huge. And now we'll give it a face right here. Okay, there we go. Now let's give it some eyes like that and make its eyes red. Let's go. So we got our mob spawned in, but I feel like we could make it even bigger. Because right Right now, it's being compared to a player. So let's just get rid of our player and do something else that's probably a little bit bigger. And by that, I mean, let's draw a house right here because the house is definitely bigger than a player. So let's draw the house and just tell that the drawing is a house like that. And it's kind of hard to read, but ignore it. But there we go. I think our drawing is complete. So we got a huge guy right next to a tiny house. But anyways, let's see what happens when he flick this now. And what on earth? did this spawn in? Is it my mom 
become invisible or something? Um, I'm a little bit confused about what this is supposed to be, but it has the eyes that I gave it. Wait, maybe it's invisible in the day and I need to set it to night. Let me try that. So let's do time set night and whoa, look at this guy. This is definitely as big as I wanted it to be. And look at it compared to the drawing. That is like exactly the same thing. Okay, that guy is kind of cool. And I think this might be a new OP mob that I found. And this is pretty insane and hype. But I think I definitely made it bigger than Cardi's elemental bear mob. And speaking of Cardi, let's ask him if he's ready. And Cardi, are you ready for the second round of our mob battle? Because my army is ready and I think your army is ready too. Yes, my army is definitely ready and I have an insane elemental mob. An elemental mob! Okay, Cardi can't hear me right now and I think I was right. The blue is a water thing and the red is probably lava? That means this guy probably has some insane attacks and I hope my mob does too. But, um, Cardi, yeah, I am ready. Are you ready to drop the walls though? Yes, I am! Let's drop them! Alright, let's go! And now the walls are dropped, Cardi, and you actually did spawn in some elemental mobs, but what kind of attacks can these guys do? Well, Smirky, you're about to find out! Uh-oh, that does not sound good, and what is it doing? It's literally throwing water and squids at my mob, what the heck? I guess so, but that's just its water attack, I bet it has a lava attack too! I hope not, because my mob is looking a little bit bad right now, and it's kind of going invisible every now and then. And wait, Smirky, look, there's a bunch of lava! What the heck? Okay, well, hopefully my mom doesn't die, and hopefully it starts doing an attack soon. And Cardi, I hear more explosions. Is there more elemental attacks? What on earth is happening? My guys are going crazy. They're making the entire arena lava and water. Oh, no, that's not good. Come on, you need to do an attack quickly, man. And are you doing one? You're quite invisible or something. Is that, like, your defensive thing? I don't think your mom's gonna do anything, Smirky. I'm about to win. Uh, there is no way. Come on, do an attack. And all the mobs are getting sucked away from it. Now, wait, what on earth is happening? And what is it doing, Cardi? Look at the middle of the arena. There's a massive explosion. Is that its power? Because it's right on top of it, Cardi. This is insane. How is it doing this attack? I have no idea, Cardi. And it's destroying literally everything that the arena has. And it's not dying yet. Oh, my gosh. It got rid of all of my mob's attacks. And oh, my gosh. This is insane. I know it's insane. There's, like, floating water and stuff. Come on. Wait, Smirky. All my mobs are dead. I didn't even realize. That is not good at all. But it's destroying literally everything. And, Cardi, my mob is just walking away right now. And it did destroy everything. But most importantly, it killed all your mobs with that attack. Oh my gosh, I totally thought I was about to win because your mob was just swimming in lava, but now all my mobs are dead. And pretty much everything is gone, Cardi. I think we have to reset the arena, and it is pretty clear that I won that round. And now the arena is reset, and I won that second round by a lot. But it's now time to bring up the stakes because we are going to start spawning some insane mobs in. So do not leave. It is about to get epic. But anyways, let's see what Cardi's gonna draw now. And it looks like Cardi is drawing some kind of skeleton mob. Wait, is he only drawing a skeleton? Because that is gonna be so easy to defeat, but I think he is still drawing. Let's see what else he does. And it looks like he's also getting some mini skeletons. Wait, that's actually kind of smart, but I think he's going up to a lever, so let's see what this turns into, and whoa! That made a giant skeleton army. Okay, this is gonna be pretty hard to defeat because I think these guys literally spawn in even more skeletons too, but I actually kind of have an idea of how to defeat this. So let's head over to our drawing board and actually start drawing. So there is one thing that the skeletons won't attack and that is other skeletons. So what if we just made some really OP skeleton boss that's just gonna go and defeat everything? And I have an idea of how to do that. So to start off, we are gonna draw its legs because then it's gonna be a giant skeleton monster. Then we're gonna draw its ribs like that, connect it all in 
and we're gonna make its head right here and this is a kind of bad drawing but you'll see what i'm doing in a second so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some fire horns on it for some insane attacks then we're gonna make a very mean looking face just because it would be kind of funny and i think this is gonna be kind of cool but let's make it look more like fire like this and uh this looks a little bit derpy but i promise you this is gonna turn into something really cool because let me show you when i flick the lever like this and what that actually made the exact thing i wanted and it turned out exactly how i wanted because look it literally has its flames on its antlers like that and that should mean that this mob has some really good attacks but anyways i think my army is ready and i think cardi's army is ready too so cardi are you ready for the mob battle yes i am smirky and i have a crazy army all right well in that case i have one that is even crazier so let's drop the walls now and the walls have now dropped cardi and you are gonna lose wait i'm gonna lose what are you talking about smirky wait why is there fire um cardi because my mob actually has some insane fire attacks and it, all the mobs can't even reach it like look at this they're trying to hit the mob but they literally can't get up to it but wait look up there's a meteor shower whoa is that part of its attacks it has there is no way that is and it still can't kill all your mobs i can't believe this this is probably your mob's attacks because there's no way my mobs can do that yeah i know Gurdy. that is insane and they're trying so hard to reach my skeleton mob but they can't come on i really hope no more meteors come down because i think that's my army's weakness and wait there's a lot more meteors uh oh there is and they're literally just not doing any damage to my mom, but they're doing a little bit of damage to yours. And Smirky! What just happened? Like, all the mobs just died, and now there's no more little skeletons. And oh my gosh, I think my skeleton kings are about to die too! Whoa! It just pushed everything off! And Cordy, it fell off the map, but I think everything died except my giant skeleton horse. Oh my gosh, how did everything die except your skeleton horse? Cordy, I think it's because you're kind of unlucky because this means that I won because there is nothing more up there and nothing more here except this guy. Your skeleton horse didn't even take damage, but good job, I guess. Yeah, that was kind of crazy. Let's reset the arena now. So now we are on to the fourth round, but don't leave because we are about to spawn in some insane stuff once again. And let's see what Cardi is going to draw for this round. And it looks like Cardi is starting off by drawing some like two gray parts. I have no idea what that is. So let's see once he finishes more of it. And he's adding some kind of like face on that. Is that supposed to be some kind of robot face? I'm a little confused what that is. And I think Cordy is done with that. And I think that's supposed to be some kind of robot because it has an antenna. And then I think it has like robot parts on it. I'm a little bit confused about that drawing, but let's just see what Cordy pulls the lever, I guess. And he's pulling it. And what on earth did that turn into? And that is kind of like Cordy's exact drawing, but this guy looks really, really, really strong. Okay, I feel like we need to draw a robot, but make it way better. And I kind of have an idea of how I want to do that. So let's turn it over to our canvas and start drawing. So you guys know Godzilla. It's kind of like some green monster that has like a tail and some big feet and then like a, like a head or something like that. I think that's what this looks like, but I don't want to do that. What if we made a giant Godzilla monster, but made it a robot? So we're going to draw it basically how we just drew Godzilla like this. There we go. Now we're gonna add like our head right here. Some like eyes and a mean face. Then we're gonna add like an antenna right there like that. And now we'll add some stuff like wires and all this other robot stuff on it just to make it look like that. And we should be able to make a robot Godzilla like this. And that doesn't really look like Godzilla. But hopefully the machine knows what I'm talking about. So let's just pull the lever like that. And what on earth spawned it? That is the exact thing I wanted. And it literally says it's a Mecha Godzilla. This thing is epic. And I think it has some really cool attacks. But you know what? I am ready for this mob battle. And I think my mob is too 
because it's kind of literally shooting at Cardi's mom. So, Cardi, are you ready to drop the walls? Yes, I am. Let's drop them. All right, let's go now. And the battle has started, Cardi. And this mob is going to die so quickly because mine is just so much better and it is the better robot. And, Cardi, I think I died before I could finish my sentence. What? How did it win so fast? And, Cardi, the reason why your mom was so fast is because it's kind of trash. Oh, my gosh. I thought my robot would be good, but I guess yours was better. Yeah, I think mine was definitely better. You know what? Let's reset the arena and go on to the next round. And you know what the next round is, right? Wait, what is it? The last round. So make sure you have a really good mob. All right, let's go. So now we are on to the final round. But don't leave because this is about to be insane. And anyways, let's see what Cardi is going to draw. And it looks like Cardi is starting to draw his mob. And that kind of looks like lava or something. I wonder what this is going to be. And he's doing the body of his mob now. And the head of his mob. And wait, I might know what this is turning into. Uh, this might not be good. And I think I was right. This is not good. I think this is supposed to be the Neverite monstrosity. And hopefully it's not. But let's see what happens when Cardi flicks the lever. And I was right. This is not good. This is the Neverite monstrosity. And as you guys know, this is a really, 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 really strong mob. And I think I need to do a way better mob than this. And I have an idea of what to draw. So let's start drawing it. To start off, we are going to give our mob some kind of spider legs because I have an idea of what I want to do. Now we are going to do like a red body like this and fill it all in with our red texture like this. There we go. Now what we're going to do is start adding on some skulls like this. And you might be able to recognize what this mob is, but I promise you it is going to be probably the only thing that can defeat Cardi's mob. So let's keep drawing it and add its faces on it like this. And there we go. I think our mob is done. And this is supposed to be the Nether Scorch, but let's flick the lever and spawn it in now. And I think it's spawned in. And yes, this is pretty much the exact representation of what this drawing was supposed to be. And let's go. That turned out really good. But Cardi, are you ready for the mob battle? Yes, I am, Smirky. And I am just going to say one thing. You have a zero percent chance to win. A zero percent chance to win? Cardi, I think I have a hundred percent chance. Are you ready to drop the wall, though? Yes, I am. Let's drop them. All right, let's go. And let's drop the walls, Cardi. And I think you're about to lose. What did you spot in? Cardi, I spotted a never scorch, and it is going to defeat all of your mobs. No way that my mobs are going to die. Cardi, they are a hundred percent going to die. It's only a matter of time, and this is insane. Come on, come on, Mr. Netherite monstrosities. You can win. There is no way they can win. Come on, do more damage. And come on, do some damage. And what was that attack? There's massive explosions coming from the sky. I think this is your mob's attack. There is no way that's its attacks. I've never seen that before. Oh my gosh, my Netherite monstrosities are taking so much damage. Yeah, they are. And it's only a matter of time before they die, Cardi. And oh my my gosh, what is happening? No, one of my monsters is gonna die. Yeah, Cardi, they're definitely gonna die. It's only a matter of time. Hey, come on, Cardi, look at this. They are taking so much damage. And your nether scourge isn't taking any damage. Yeah, I know. I don't know how it hasn't taken a single piece of damage yet. Well, one of your mom is almost dead. Come on, it just killed the last one. And yes, one of them died. There's only one more now. And I think this one's gonna die really soon soon. And it should die soon because it's turning the whole arena to lava. No, 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 no. I end the uh, smirky. It all died and look at the arena and the surroundings. What on earth happened? That was one of the craziest battles ever, but you won. Yeah, I definitely did, but it is all thanks to this guy. And Cardi, I need to show you something. Wait, what do you want to show me? Well, look at my side of the arena. Now it's reset. I kind of was using one-way glass. This is entire time, Cardi. What? This is one-way glass and you were cheating with this? Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm sorry, Cardi. Do you forgive me if I give you the win? Yes, I do, Smirky. Let's go. Well, if you enjoyed this Smirky and Cardi video, remember to like and subscribe and click on the video on the screen because I know you're gonna enjoy it. Bye. Bye.